Russia-Ukraine war live, Russia warns West against providing long-range rockets to Ukraine. As the Russia-Ukraine war continues to intensify beyond 102 days, invading troops pounded areas in Kyiv on Sunday morning. Russian forces also flew cruise missiles at a critically low level over South Ukrainian NPP. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin issued staunch warnings against the U.S. supply of long-range missiles to Ukraine. Zelensky avers risk of another invasion of Ukraine by Belarus is negligible. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the risk of another invasion of his country by Belarus is negligible. We are preparing for all the risks of invasion. But so far our analysts and experts do not see real risks of a second invasion from Belarus, he claimed, as per next. Zelensky, the risk of another invasion of Ukraine by Belarus is minimal. We are preparing for all the risks of invasion, but so far our analysts and experts do not see real risks of a second invasion from hashtag Be Ukraine claims Russian Navy continues to block countries' ports. The Ukrainian Navy claimed that nearly 30 Russian ships and submarines continue to block Ukrainian ports. It further stated that at least 12 landing ships still threaten the Ukrainian coast. According to the Ukrainian Navy, Russia has launched as many as 300 cruise missiles and also switched to anti-ship missiles. Russia's Black Sea Fleet has been pushed back more than 100 kilometers from Ukrainian shores, Ukrainian Navy claimed, as per the Kyiv Independent. Russia willing to initiate nuclear arms talks with U.S. Kremlin. Kremlin spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov stated that Russia is willing to initiate nuclear arms talks with the United States but negotiations are unlikely to take place amid the prevailing We are interested in such talks as we believe that it's necessary to continue talks and discuss this issue given the tectonic shifts in the field of European and even global security. Such talks are necessary. The whole world needs them. Russia will capture larger areas if West provides long range rockets to Ukraine. Lav the Russian foreign minister has warned the West that if it provides Ukraine with long range rockets, Moscow will respond by taking over larger areas of Ukraine. Speaking during an online news conference, Sergei Lavrov said that the longer the range of weapons you supply, the farther away the line from where neo-Nazis could threaten the Russian Federation will be put. The US and Britain have announced they will provide Ukraine with multiple rocket launchers capable of striking targets up to 80 kilometers away. The systems are capable of firing longer-range rockets that can hit areas of up to 300 kilometers away. But the U.S. said it wouldn't supply the rockets. Civil unrest in Poland as fuel prices soar high after Russia bans key Polish pipelines. As the fuel prices hit a record high in Warsaw due to the EU's sixth package of sanctions which includes phasing out Russian oil reliance and uncertainties over the alternative source of oil loomed. Polish citizens flooded the streets demonstrating against Russia's unprovoked Ukraine invasion since February 24 has skyrocketed the oil prices across the bloc, pushing the prices to a whopping 7.62 zlotys per liter, 1.66 euros on average. The soaring prices of oil triggered civil unrest, particularly in the Polish town of Bielsko Biała on Sunday as several drivers parked their cars blocking the fuel stations and protesting in front of the partially state-owned PKN Orl. The unrest marred the Polish towns after President Andrzej Duda signed a major amendment to the VAT Act prolonging the so-called anti-inflation shield. Duda extended the lower excise tax rates that his government had introduced in February until the end of July to bring the rising fuel prices under control. His decision, however, was widely criticized as lawmakers argue that it would further push up the fuel prices. Russia recognizes people with disabilities as suitable for the war in Ukraine. Intelligence 
The Central Intelligence Agency of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has released an audio interception in which the mother of a Russian soldier informs her son that the Russian command has recognized people with disabilities fit for war. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense stated that the Russian military was trying to avoid direct combat clashes with Ukrainian defense force. Russia FM Lavrov terms NATO's refusal to allow his plane into Serbia as unprecedented. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov condemned some North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, countries' decisions to not allow his aircraft to enter Serbia for a visit. Addressing a press conference on Monday, the Russian minister termed the incident unprecedented. According to reports, Sergei had to abandon his visit to Siberia as Bulgaria, North Macedonia, and Montenegro closed their airspace for the minister. Of course, the unthinkable happened, I understand the interest you show in our assessment of these outrageous actions, he told reporters. 32 journalists killed by Russian attacks since onset of war, Ukraine. The culture minister of Ukraine claimed that as many as 32 journalists have been killed by the Russian attack since the onset of the war. We have lost even more journalists in eight years of war. Ukraine's culture minister Oleksandr Kachenko said on June 6, which is considered journalist day in Ukraine. Ukraine claims Russia deployed Iskander M missile launchers along Belarus border. The Ukrainian military, in its daily war update on Monday, accused Russian forces of using a medium range surface to air missile and anti aircraft artillery systems Panzer, S 400 missile systems and operational and tactical aircraft along the besides, it also said that the aggressor has deployed Iskander M, anti-gun complexes C-1 armor, and C-400 anti-aircraft missile systems. In order to demonstrate presence in the border areas, individual units of the enemy are operating, which carry out shelling of civilian infrastructure of the settlements of Chernihiv and Sumy regions of UK to gift multiple launch rocket systems to Ukraine. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson stated that his country will gift multiple launch rocket systems M270 to the Ukrainian forces to counter the Russian aggression. We cannot stand by while Russian long-range artillery flattens cities and kills innocent civilians. The UK will gift the Ukrainian armed forces multiple launch rocket systems so they can effectively repel the continuing Russian onslaught. Situation worsens further in Ukraine's eastern region, Luhansk governor. A regional governor in Ukraine stated that the situation in a key eastern town has worsened. Luhansk governor, Serhi Haidai, said that fierce fighting was continuing in the city of Severodonetsk in the epicenter of the Russian offensive. He described the combat situation as quite dynamic. Our defenders managed to conduct counteroffensive and free nearly half of the city, but the situation has worsened again now. Our guys are defending the positions in the industrial zone on the outskirts of the city. The shelling of Severodonetsk has intensified, the Russians, are destroying everything in line with their scorched earth tactics.